Being able to read and interpret the help in PowerShell is important, but being able to use the help, I think, is even more important. It, here's why. Let's take a step back and look at a graphical application. I remember the first time I pulled open Active Directory Users and Computers back in 99 or 2000 or whenever, and here's what I did. I expanded the tree views. Well, that's interesting. I, I right-clicked a few things to see what I could do. I, I hovered over these little buttons to see what tooltips were there, and I, I looked at the menu. Now, in a GUI, these are called discoverability features, uh, and we tend to instinctively use them all the time. You know, you get a new copy of Word with some wacky new toolbar, and you start going through these discoverability behaviors that we, we weren't really taught, we just kind of picked up as we went along. And those features are what make a GUI easy to learn. You can figure out how to do things and what to do without actually reading the manual. You know, okay, I need to create a new user. Well, I've been trained to know that that type of stuff is in the toolbar. Oh, there, create a new user in the current container, awesome. Or could I right-click new, uh, oh, and user, and I'll get a whole GUI to walk me through it. Well, a command line interface, obviously, doesn't have any right-clicking, it doesn't have any tree views, and it doesn't have any tooltips. So the PowerShell team had to create discoverability features, and you actually have to learn to use these, because they're, they're not obvious. And the help command is one of those discoverability features. For example, I want to do something with event logs help star event star. The wild cards there are a big deal. And rather than typing event log or, or something like that, I, I kind of want to go with the shortest thing possible, event. Uh, that way I'll get the most hits possible. Now I'm, I'm probably going to wind up with more hits than I need, yeah, uh, quite a bit more. But some of these are good. Get win event, get event, uh, new event, get event log. Oh, okay, well that's what I was after. So now I can read the help for get event log and it'll show me how to use that command. Now, a neat trick about PowerShell is that in addition to all of the commandlet help, it's also got these help files that just cover background concepts, and they, they all start with the word about and an underscore. So if I wanted to uh, learn about, I don't know, operators, help oper. Again, shorter is better because it gives PowerShell the opportunity to hit across more things. Okay, well, unfortunately, Opera is part of the word property, so if I wanted to trim that down, maybe it had opera, ah, and that's perfect. So now I can read about arithmetic operators, assignment operators, logical operators, all kinds of stuff. And to look at one of these, it's just help about operators. And then I can read through this and, and educate myself about what's going on in the shell. Now another neat thing that PowerShell does, and I really like this, is if it doesn't find a hit, in the title of one of these help topics, so in a commandlet name or, or in one of the titles of these abouts, it'll actually do sort of a full text search across part of the help file. Uh, for example, there's no command in PowerShell that uses the word reboot. Reboot is not an official PowerShell verb. It's, it's kind of an American idiomatic thing. Um, so if I was looking for a command that would reboot a computer, I might think to type reboot and you're going to notice PowerShell take just a second before it comes back with restart computer. And the reason it got this topic is because it has the word I searched for. So using help as a way to discover what commands you have available is a really key skill. Focus on using that and practice it at getting good at finding different commands based on punching in these little wildcard search terms. <laughs>